An interesting topic that just jumped into our laps, onto our laps right before we went live on our first stream tonight. As we discovered Dana White slapping his wife at a club New Year's Eve. And I am telling you the truth. This actually happened. No joke. Dana White slapped his wife twice. Now, if you could slap that like button, that'd be nice as well. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. This format is happening on Monday nights. Wednesdays will be a little bit different. We'll have long interviews and we'll have like uh, bonus streams. Fridays we'll have our long, full, unedited, uncut, unfiltered Fuka Friday. And Saturdays we'll be doing our fight reaction shows, long, full, uncircumcised. But this stream over here is going to be devoted to Dana White slapping his wife. So slap the like button, and we're going to tell, we're going to show you guys the video. So feel free to donate because we're going to get demonetized, especially for this video right here because it's TMZ. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have a donation that slipped in before we went live. So let's play it, and this is from. Lord Young Dagger Richard. And it's not playing, but uh, what does it say here, Jesse? Uh, if Question, is it gay if a grown man sleeps with a big t-shirt on with no underwear? Thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. It's very nice of you. Answer in the chat, please. Okay, so... If you weren't aware, Power Slap is something that is right around the corner. Dana White has his name all over it. And in this situation, this is very unfortunate because probably shouldn't be slapping your wife. And you probably shouldn't be slapping your wife before you're unleashing Power Slap. Or is this a publicity stunt, Jesse? Did he slap her? It's a promotion. Is this going to be in the intro to Power Slap? He's just slapping his wife around. What do you think? Yeah, I think he's promoting. Okay. One's in the chat. Did you see this? And two's in the chat. If you didn't, it's about to go down, and we're going to show you. He did power slap his lady. Yes. Yes, he did. Dana White produ uh, product placement. I mean, it's very good fitting timing, you know? It was provoked 100% maybe. The divorce lawyer isn't a stunt. Uh, two's, I want ideas to rate the slap. He don't go out with wife. Uh, no sense at all. Dana took the wife to Stockton Bros. <laughs> uh, she was being very rude. Uh, she was telling him that he couldn't have any more prostitutes. <laughs> DJ telling the security to keep an eye upstairs. Just getting ready. Okay, Jess, keep going. Does she got big arms in Spanish? Okay, we're ready to go. Um, okay, you guys ready in the chat? Drop Carnage in the chat if you're ready. We're about to activate some Carnage at the nightclub. New Year's Eve. Here is the boss, Dana White, and his wife. Um, and I got to say this. Um, this is exciting. You know, we're, we're excited because we get to see Dana's wife. Well, blurry. But um, we knew he was married. Mm -hmm. We just didn't really see them together. If you Google pictures of Dana White and his wife, I'll do it right now. Dana White wife. Her name is Ann White. And there's like limit. Well, now, now it shows up with pictures of her being slapped, which is not a good look. But, um, okay, there she is over there, a little blurry. But there she is, Jess. What do you think? Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, you like her? Okay, you into her? There's Dana White and the wife, the missus over there. Happy couple. Um, th there have been some rumors floating around that, you know, Dana hasn't been, I don't know. Loyal? Loyal, maybe. I don't know if it's true or not. Faithful? I, maybe. Perhaps. But I don't know that as a fact. I have no clue. We do know, actually. because we do? Yes, because wasn't there a lawsuit about uh, with him on a yacht with some other woman? What? Are you making this up or is this real? Yeah, no, I reported. I don't know if it was a lawsuit or if it was like, I reported. <laughs> he was on a yacht with another woman. Yeah, I reported. Doing what? It was, was like it, a year or two ago. It wasn't the Conor McGregor video with a head bobbing? No. Okay. No, it was. Uh, was it Conor I, on I reported, the yacht with Dana? I reported news on it. Hold on. Let me just. Dana White. Uh, woman. Yacht. By the way, Kainoto, remind us. I would love to show your meme. Very funny Ariel Hawani meme. We put it on Twitter. So we'll show that in a sec. 
scandal. All right. Well, this is going to take forever. Yeah, it was Let's just show the video. Something about him. All right, you guys excited? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, the $332,000 sex tape scandal of, um, oh, it wasn't a yacht. It was a, sorry, it was a Brazilian hotel room. And uh, <laughs> there was a woman trying to extort him uh, for, I guess, some sex well, I vaguely thing remember that went that. down. Yeah. yeah, I vaguely remember the sex tape. Yeah, so he fools around. I mean, listen, we're speculating. There have been rumblings and rumors but we don't know for sure if Dana White has been running around on his wife. We don't know. We know. But what we do know is he likes to smack her around in clubs. Okay, here they are. Now, it, whoa, what the? Okay, here we go. Here they are. They're dancing. Now, it looks pretty cordial, right? They're I, not dancing. Oh, they're dancing. This is a slow dance that's happening. She's, that's an altercation right there. She looks very upset, Jesse. It doesn't look like a kiss is coming. In fact, Dana looks like he's trying to protect himself here, correct? Yeah, from a fist. Okay. Now, the missus is just really up close and personal. She whispers something into his ear. Now, what do you think she's saying to him right now? She's going to fucking kill him. <laughs> she probably found out he okay. cheated again. Okay. There we go. That's what Jesse thinks. Let me know in the chat what you think. And the whisper happens. Then there's another angle that pops up, unfortunately. It's this, but it zooms in a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. They get a little closer. Okay. She, oh, so he said something to her, and she turned around like, whoa. No, she probably found out he was cheating again. Well, you really She's are distraught. high on this treating thing. And then he comes up to console her. Sorry. So he whispers into her ear something, and she's just, like, not having it. So she looks up, and he kind of, like, backs up a little bit. Right? She He holds the hand, and, oh, it's coming, Jesse. It's coming. Watch Dana kind of puts the hand down. He's like, whoa, 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 easy. Oh! Now that is the first shot that comes in. Dana's like, Little stroke setting in on Dana's face. The boss kids. Now, I got to say this. This is the first I noticed this. Dana actually grabbed her first. Well, he was trying to stop her from walking away. Yeah, she was going to walk away. She turns around. Oh, boy. <laughs> we didn't even get to the Dana situation here. But Dana grabs her not to walk away. She had enough. We don't know what was going Should've on. Should have just let her walk away, man. Listen. Couples fight, right? There's no Couples big deal. Couples don't just slap each other. Well, hold on. We didn't get to the Dana part. Couples fight, and uh, we could only speculate what was being said there. Now, maybe he was just like, hey, I'm just going to have another drink, okay? And she just was tired, and she wanted to go home, and she was being a little bratty. But he grabbed her arm. It says, stay. Or well, I don't know what he said, but he grabs her. Now, technically, she was going to walk away. So by him grabbing her there, did he do the right thing, coming from a female perspective? No, he should have just let her go. He should have let her go. All right, let me know in the chat. We're going to get to the Dana White slap. Don't worry. Slap the like button immediately. And share the stream, too, right now, because this is viral all over the internet. The MMA hole is covering the hottest topic right now, as there's no UFC. Dana White grabs his wife's arm. Did he try to kidnap her? What happened, chat? Let her go. No defense for him. So Ivan's saying, listen, buddy, let, let her, her go. go. Man. That would have never happened if he just let her go. Technically, you can't grab someone like that, says Rye. No, she deserved it. You won't let me comment, says Ian. I can let you comment, and I see your comment right there. What does uh, Awandi say? Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think because he was cheating. I'm sorry. It was just. Because uh, he was cheating because if he was, he wouldn't have slapped her. He would have just took it because he knows it's, it's his fault. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If she slapped him because he was cheating, sometimes men, they just react. Now, I have been in a lot of situations in nightclubs with girlfriends. I've been in this situation before. I've been in situations where... Well, you I was, got slapped in a nightclub? Well, I was having an argument. I've been slapped in a nightclub, yeah. But I never what slapped back. What were you back. doing to get slapped? Uh, you know, I say stupid things. And I deserved it. Um, but um, not a girlfriend. A girlfriend never slapped me in the li nightclub. A but stranger. a woman a slapped yeah. you in a nightclub. <laughs> stranger has. Why am I not Shocker. surprised? Shocker. I mean, but no, um, I have. And I was being silly. But um, but in the, I didn't slap her back. That would have been wrong. But in this situation right here, yeah, if you're if someone is heated like that, just let them walk away. Now, the problem here is is Dana White was probably intoxicated as well. They're they probably, both were probably wasted. They're probably both lit up like a Christmas tree in Mexico, Cabo. Things are going down. Balls are dropping. People are singing, Happy New Year, Ming. You know, things like that going on. 
They're in their VIP section. Dana's old strapped up. The TRT's flowing through the veins. He grabs her arm and makes the first mistake you make as a man. You just can't grab him. You can't do it. You can't do it because the slap is coming. Or the shove, the scream, the emotions pour out. Drunk hormones together don't work. Females, you know what I'm talking about. How many ladies in the chat have been it's in that just situation? It's alcohol. It has nothing to do with drunk and hormones. Don't get, don't Hormones and drunk, not good. Alcohol can cause people to do very rational things. Okay. All right, so we're going to get into this over here. The slap is about to happen from Dana CBD. White. Well, we got some CBD coming CBD, in. CBD, Roberto CBD, the Hearn. CBD, CBD, CBD. Come on, Roberto. CBD, 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 CBD. It helps with... Uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you want to get these for before or after the fire training and make your life a better place. Let's go, Roberto. Make my life a better place. For anyone that's been to Vallarta, Cancun, Carbos, Acapulco, Tijuana, everyone knows these places are grimy and dangerous unless you want to get high. Avoid these places. Terry's very high end places in Carbos. Okay. There we go. What about Playa del Carmen? I've been there. Wasn't that bad? You say that in there? Uh, thank you, Roberto, for the 420 donation. Appreciate it. Let's catch up on another donation over here. If you'd like to donate, feel free, because we want to know your opinions on this crazy topic over here. We're going to get demonetized, so feel free to donate and support the show. Uh, Kai Noto coming in. Wonderful, wonderful. With a wonderful, wonderful donation. Just like in football, a penalty doesn't exist if both teams commit a foul. Nothing to see here. She fucked around and found out, and then he started his slap fight all too soon. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think about that? Uh, I'll give my opinion. Okay. I'll give Let's my opinion. Thank you, DVSV, for being a member for 30 months. Now, here's the deal. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you the slap. I know everyone's anticipating. They're on the edge of their seat. We got to the point where Dana grabs his wife and says, well, it doesn't. I, we don't know what he said, but basically he didn't want her to leave the situation. And she comes back with something. That's a little vicious. Here it comes. Coming right in. Oh, whoa. Now, look at, I mean, it's a little blurred over here. Ugh, mush face. Dana White gives her a look like, what? Wonderful, wonderful. Stand by. D-Man Diaz coming in. I heard Dana White keeps increasingly ignoring her during their rich people orgies. That's true. That's true. Um, that's actually what really happened, Jess. Did you know this? Uh, No, but I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, Dana White is stunned, and his first response as a gentleman is standing between them with one of those weird hats. I don't know what those hats are called, but it's like something from Peaky Blinders. Here it comes. Boom! Ready? Let's watch again here. Dana White gets slapped, and he takes it on the chin. And, you know, I think you'd be good in slap fighting, slap power, slap league, right? And it comes back again. Fa boom! Oh my God! Now I gotta be honest with you. When I first saw that, I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, we were you real?" He went foom right at her. Okay, get ready. So more action coming in here. She goes down for a second. She gets back up, and he he gives <laughs> a couple insurance slaps, and uh, you know they're a little shove, and they take the wife away. Moss, you and Jess recreate this for us, please. <laughs> would you like to re recreate it? If she wasn't pregnant, I would think about it. We've actually slapped each other on this channel. Actually, she slapped me. Out um, of play. She slapped me with a pillow. Not almost maliciously. She almost knocked me out with a pillow. Um, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. So if you just jump it in, we will show it again, and we will get demonetized. So we appreciate the donations flowing in. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Very important to hit that notification bell because we're going to have some bonus streams coming up. And you won't even know when they're going to hit you, just like Dana White's wife. Wonderful, wonderful. I was about to Photoshop a giant hand slapping to me, but it's too soon. Way too soon. But yeah, man, his wife got in a fucking hard ass slap. His tensions all shook. Okay, so 
I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest with you. Um, when I first saw this, I always like to give the boy, the man, the benefit of the doubt. I always like to do that. But when I first saw this, I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, bro. Like, it, I almost felt like I just saw my boy make a massive mistake. You know? Like, I just, I don't know why I don't know Dana White from a hole in a wall. But I saw this video. I was like, oh, dude, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I was like, bro. Like, I'm trying to say, okay, how do we hide the evidence, you know? <laughs> What was your first reaction seeing this? I always have um, a very controversial opinion on these things. Yeah. I always get lit on fire because I I live with the opinion that man or woman, if someone strikes you first, you have the right to defend yourself. So I understand that she's his wife. She's like half his size. He has much more strength than her. Yada, yada, yada. But she struck him first. So he had every right to defend himself, but where he went wrong was her slap was like a little, you know, she got a good one no, in. she hit him good. She, she got did. a good one in, but it didn't knock him to the ground. He threw in one that knocked her to the ground <laughs> and then threw another one in after that. Sure and shot to That's keep her down. That's where he messed up. If he were like just defending himself, you know, gave her a little shove, maybe gave her a slap, but didn't knock her ass to the ground then I'd be like, okay, self-defense, totally right, you know, in the situation. But um, he didn't let her leave, and he came in and doubled down with what she threw. So it's tough, man. It's I always believe in the right to defend yourself, but this one's a little rough. Yeah, listen, I don't know what happened, what was being said. I don't know who was doing what wrong. I don't know it. But she at the shouldn't end have slapped him in the first place. Yes. But at the end of the day, you always cringe when a guy hits a woman, right? You always do. And and I, I'm I'm the type of guy that tries to protect you know the boys as far as I can. But in this situation, and we'll read what Dana White actually said um following up this whole situation, and he was very apologetic, and he actually said he's embarrassed. I mean, rightfully so. The first thing I thought of though, like after it all settled into my brain, like the first like real thing that popped up was is TBS gonna drop him now? <sighs> like seriously. Like I'm not even kidding. Like <laughs> like know. this whole slap fight thing, I feel has just exploded. Like it's done. Like I feel like he just drove the nail in the coffin. No, I don't think like, so. Like he's gonna be the face of there's slap too much... power slap. No, there's too much money in it. So you think they're gonna still go? You know forward? why? Because he came out. <laughs> he came out instantly and said, "Oh my god, there's no excuse." And he apologizes for his actions, and it's very regrettable. It's not like he carried too too much time on and just let people start talking about it. You know, like he came out very quickly and apologized for his actions. So he I did. think, rightfully so. I mean, I, I mean, I think he knows he was wrong. It doesn't. You know, listen, you know, but it, it begs the know, question, so how often does this relationship get physical? Because it's very clear, like they were very comfortable hitting each other. So I wonder, is this the first time they've ever hit each other or has this been going on for a while? Well, um, they seem like they're very comfortable with doing that to each other. Uh, they will bury this with uh, within a week, says uh, Damn Savage. And I agree. I think he's going to bury his wife in Mexico somewhere or in Vegas. Two very good spots to bury a woman if you, you know, things get a little out of control. She vanishes. No one knew she existed in the first place, right? So bury All it. right, Moss. No? Okay. Um, uh, that one, Gers, says it's foreplay. Maybe it was foreplay over there. We're going to show it again in a second. But we're going to break this thing down. We're going to try to figure out what's going to come from this. Are you team Dana? You team wife? It's very difficult. Wonderful, wonderful. Imagine if Dana sees this video, he sees me in the apex with a whole shirt. I'm getting slapped. <laughs> he looked very disappointed. Hopefully they are good now. Hopefully, yes. And listen, when you make content like this, you're burying yourself as a channel for getting Dana White on. So make sure you donate and make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're probably never going to have the boss on now, but it's fine because we're going to make jokes about this regardless. Okay? Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. How you doing? Jason Faulkner being a member for 31 months. Member up, very important. Member up to the channel because we're going to have some bonus member streams. And it's going to be a delightful experience with our lo beloved members. Don't worry if you're not a member. We have plenty of streams for you guys as well. A lot of stuff on this channel. All right, let's 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 go back into this over here. And we're going to get into the chat as well. All right, champs. Um, this is at a nightclub in Mexico. 
and we're gonna we're gonna go through this again. If you're just jumping in, Dana White was there. His She's wife. He's clearly distraught about something. Yeah. He should have just let her leave. Yes. Now to recollect herself, gather her thoughts, reset. You know, like she's clearly in a position where she is not going to think rationally. She's got her face buried into her hands, for God's sake, in public. Like something is not rational. Yeah. Okay, so oh, I... Aw, super chat. Dark matter? Get slapped, slap back, simple science and <laughs> great promo. I mean... You know, like your initial reaction, if someone slaps you and you're drunk, you just want to slap them back. But I... Which I, would have been okay for him to defend himself if he had not knocked her to the ground and then came <laughs> in again for another... Sl- like, it, it was just too much. It, he, he wa- like... What happens now? It's just too much. Like what? Like what? What kind of? So Dana is very apologetic about this. And well, he has to be. He just beat his <laughs> wife in public. There's no way you can double down and say, "Bitch deserved it." <laughs> was, she slapped me first. Was, hey, tune in. Hey, goofs, tune into Power Slap. It's coming at you uh, in January, and you could see more of this. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm just cutting a promo for Power Slap. It would have been hilarious if he did double down and just went for it. But yeah, you have to... You have to... <laughs> you have to... Uh, you know, if you're Dana White, if you're anyone in the public eye, there's cameras on you everywhere. It doesn't matter how drunk you are in a situation. There is no excuse. Moss, Dana White or not, there's no excuse for, for how a woman this went to hit down. you. No. <laughs> there, <laughs> wait, let me finish. No excuse for a woman to hit you, Jesse. No. Um, listen, I understand. Listen, sometimes emotional, you know, in relationships, people's emotions are through the roof. People are drunk. Right. Boom, doom, 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 but doom, doom, doom. there is He's absolutely zero excuse to lay your hand on your partner, woman or man. She did lay his ha- her hand on him, so she is just as much in the wrong. He just the reason he's s- more wrong is because of the fact that he doubled down. Well, she rolled with the punch, so this is, has this has happened before. I wonder. It <laughs> seems like they were very comfortable <laughs> just swinging shots at each other. It's like, not their first rodeo because she did quite. She did take it really good. Look, like watch this, watch this. So, so it comes and she comes first. She fired but first. But that's a cheating slap Bang. right there. Yeah, I think that's a cheating slap. You know, it's funny. I don't want to say it because bro code. That's a cheating slap. It does feel like that. I've seen like, a cheating why slap, else? and that is a cheating slap. I'm not saying he did, but what else it could it be? Like it's like she you found didn't pick out, up your shoes. <laughs> she found out he was cheating again in this situation. He's trying to console her. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Oh, don't act like this here. She's distraught. He tries to keep her there. She needs to get the hell out. She slaps him. Out of just irrationale, and then he reacts. You didn't tell me Ronda Rousey was showing up at the party. You didn't tell me the Ringos would be here. Look at this, man. I mean, I wonder what's going on. Yeah, she's like really upset. Now, listen, she's probably hitting menopause, you know? Oh, my God. Let's be serious here. She's probably. If you had a a partner (laughs) who was cheating on you constantly. I'm sure she. He would Let's cut her some slack here. She's way. probably running through those hormones. You know, everything's hot right now. She's getting the flashes. Maybe it's not a cheating thing. He's leaning over and saying, "Hey, let's get you home. Get you some cold ice on your head." And she's like, "No, I don't want cold ice on my head. I'm at I'm the menopause. I'm out of here." And he's like, "Wait, don't go, honey. It's just menopause. I mean, I still love you. No, you don't." So he gets hit over there. He's like, "What?" Now he had the look of rage, and he comes back in with the right hand over. She's going to flinch, and, and Dana it's White's on inco- steroids boom! Too. Oh, she go- she rolled with that beautifully, though, Jess. She w- she went with it. She's like, it's coming because she's taken those shots before. She knew what to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, inappropriate. <laughs> oh my God, she does she go down? Like she yeah, kinda, she went oh, down. Yeah, she did, and then he came in for a second shot. She like gets the back one up. wasn't enough. Knocking her down wasn't yeah, enough. Yeah, he's ground and pounding her. No, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. But two did come in. Anyway. Two did come in. <laughs> <sighs>
Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Kainoto, for the two. Moss, don't forget to check out the memes. I summed it all up. And no, I don't condone violence of any kind, but in this case, he gets a pass from me. This woman probably hits him in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know Kainoto hits his wife. <laughs> You know, listen, let me just make this very clear, and thank you for the donation. By no means am I glorifying hitting a woman. I think it's the, the scummiest thing in the world. You can't fucking take your hand and... You can't well, do that. Especially if you are very clearly twice the size and knocking her that. to the ground. You can't punch, you can't <laughs> slap a woman. You just can't do that. You just you just can't. It's a, it's a big no-no, right? So Dana is wrong. With that being said, she should not have what, hit him. what did she say? You know? Like the great Bill Burr said. She had to have said something. No, she didn't. She just had to slap him. <laughs> That's all she had but to do. But beforehand, she was probably all moody. You know? It's, just something was right, happening. Now put your misogyny away. <laughs> and let's stop blaming the woman and blaming anybody. And just think for a second that yeah. regardless of what the situation was, couples fight. Right? There's always altercations. But they should never get physical. Just don't do it on camera. So you're getting right? really frustrating because like, <laughs> I feel like I can't even have a normal conversation with you because you just get stupid. I just say if you're going to do it, do it behind closed doors. You know, I mean, not a, not in a club. That doesn't. No. Oh, no, what? Moss. I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm kidding. You shouldn't oh, be doing that at all. Super chat. Uh, Key Gray coming in. Settle via rematch in debut power slap event. I'm I mean, in. perfect timing, right? Dana slaps the shit out of his wife. His upcoming Power Slap show is coming. All he's thinking is, the ratings are going to be incredible. This is going to be must-see TV. Watch me slap the shit out of my wife. Maybe maybe that's, it probably is a promo. It's got to be. The timing is just too, it's just too close. All right. Definitely cutting a pro, promo. Wonderful, wonderful. Hearns. If this would have happened in the United States, forget about it. But since it happened in Mexico, no rights for the ladies. <laughs> Mouthless face. Fog. Joking. Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. They all went in there and they sliced her tongue out of her throat and gave her one of those neckties, Jesse. That's terrible. Um, no. So, so, so supposedly everything's okay. Everything's fine. Dana White apologized. He feels terrible about it. He says he's embarrassed by this. And, and I, mean, I, I mean, I would imagine he is embarrassed. would not be embarrassed by that. I mean, once you put your hands on a woman, it's terrible. You know? And I have a feeling he probably messed up somewhere. I think Jesse is right. All my joking aside, let's be serious here. Sh he, he messed up. He like he did something wrong. He left the toilet seat up. No, no, no. That's a, if you if it gets a woman to a point of slapping you, then you yeah. really you really went there. Because I can't imagine a woman just thinking I'm just gonna slap my husband because I'm mad at him. Could have been the pubes, you know, left, I don't know, on the floor. He didn't sweep up the pubes, manscaped before Cabo, wherever the hell they were. You know, maybe that's what it is. No? Ate the last piece of pizza before they went out. I don't know. But clearly she was upset in this situation. And um, she should have never laid her hands on him, to be honest. Like, you shouldn't. I said that. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree with that. And and Dana, Dana kind of took it like a bitch. I got to be. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> right in front of that guy, too. And then he knocked her to the ground, which is the worst part. Oh, my God. Happy New Year. He should have just slapped her enough to get the point across. <laughs> <laughs> I could watch this all day. I'm so glad it's not me. It's so better. Oh, it's so much better when someone else. This happens all the time in my country. It's <laughs> tradition in Dagestani to show your wife the back of the hand. Here the sheep and women know what's good. Dana would fit in nice here. Praise be Allah. Thank you. Uh, Habib Nurmagomedov coming in. Thank you. And Salah. Thank you for the donation. Very nice of you. That was really nice of Habib. I didn't think he was going to come in and donate, but look at that. Uh, chat. Well, what do you got? Oh, boy. He should have thrown her off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbed her by her belt and the, and the scruff just of her neck her. and just launched her right off the <laughs> right off the balcony into Diplo as he's spinning the tunes. Uh, should have spun her around and gave her a spanking. Muhammad hit a woman as well. Uh, Dana wears his heart on his sleeves. Carnage moment if I've ever seen one. The next press conference is going to be awkward. <laughs> I know Friday. they're going to ask him so many questions. <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, sup, Dan Savage. Happy New Year. Laugh my ass off. He's seen her PPP. He didn't eat slap. It's not good for Dana, no doubt. No. So let's talk about this. What What are the repercussions? Like, I feel like this will get swept under the carpet pretty quickly. Um, he is very apologetic. And actually, let's get to the um, his apology. <laughs> I kid you. Right before we went live, this popped up. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I saw it when I was putting Ellie down. Like, this, this has got to be. This can't be real. All right. So let's do this. I do appreciate those donations that came in. Thank you so much. This will be, this might self-destruct the stream. So, I don't know. Hit the like button. It is a TMZ clip, so credit to them for that. Uh, the story, let's see. All right, so he says there was definitely alcohol, but there's still no excuse. There's an actual. Yeah, I want to get to the story. I guess the. There, right there. Click the, yeah. Okay, here we That's go. It. All right, so Jess is going to give you the story here. What a situation. Oh, wait. Is he talking here? Is this him? Yeah. <gasps> but I don't I, th I mean, you would have... I don't know if you can play it. I don't think I can play the You can audio. probably play it without showing the can video. I? Yeah, you can probably play the audio. Oh, we're going to get flagged so bad. I don't know. I, I, I don't trust me because I, I, I don't... I have no clue. All right. Let's read the quotes then. What? Yeah, that's probably best. Okay. Uh, you got to scroll a little bit. Okay. He said... Read in his voice, please. No. He said, you've heard me say for years, there's never an excuse for a guy to put his hands on a woman. And now here I am on TMZ talking about it. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean... Uh, he says he's embarrassed by this horrible incident and he and Anne have apologized to each other. He says they're good, but the biggest concern now is for their three kids with whom they've already discussed the fight. Meanwhile, Anne tells TMZ Sports, Dana and I have been married for almost 30 years. To say this is out of character for him is an understatement. Nothing like this has ever happened before. <laughs> he usually punches me. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we were both drinking too much on yeah. New Year's Eve and things got out of control on both sides. We've talked this through as a family and apologized to each other. I just hope people will respect our privacy for the sake of our kids. Think about this scenario. Let me paint the picture here. Dana White is never home, right? This guy is out and about. He's traveling for the UFC. He's probably home more now because, you know, he's not showing up at all the events. But still, he's doing a lot of traveling. He's all over the place. I, I just feel that if you're drinking that much to where you're getting physical with your partner and then you're blaming it on the alcohol, maybe you guys shouldn't be drinking. Well, maybe you should be married. Let's be honest. Or They're maybe you the... should not be consuming a substance that is making you physical with your partner. It is It is pretty wild that these two have been together for so long. Marriage is tough as it is. Now, think about this. Your husband's Dana White. I'm pretty sure the wife doesn't work. I've seen the house. The house is ridiculous. You can search on YouTube. They have She's tours of Dana's nuts. house. I mean, it's going to take a lot for this woman to say, okay, I don't want to be with you anymore. Yeah. You know? Um, and I don't think Dana, I don't, I don't think Dana is an abusive guy. I don't see that. But at the same time, he is pumping the TRT into the body or he's, whatever hormones he's putting in there, the testosterone, he looks great. Um, I, I don't think he is a violent guy. I don't get that vibe from the dude. And I do, I do feel he is apologetic, but if you, if it gets to that point after 30 years of being married to someone, I mean, What? Like, like you mean to tell me it took 30 years and then all of a sudden you're going to smack her in a club? Like, I feel like they're just staying together for convenience. I don't know. I don't know the situation, but it just feels like that, you know? So it's, it's a weird situation. Uh, thankfully, they're both saying everything is fine. So I guess we take it for what it is. You know, no one got hurt in the situation. I think the kids are probably going to feel it more than the parents. But this does not seem like... This is the first time. I mean, this this probably happened before. It probably got pretty nasty before. So what do you think in the chat about this Dana White situation oh, here? I'm curious. Super chat. She has to win a few before a rematch. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Immediate rematch, please. Ah, oh, super chat. Thank you, Eli. Thank you guys for the donations. Appreciate that. What do you think? Do you think um do you think this happened before? I don't know. She seemed like I, I think one of two things happened. She was just so livid that it just happened. Mm -hmm. Or she has definitely slapped him before, but she did not expect him to react. Maybe he hasn't reacted. You in think the past. she's hit him before? 
not like regularly, but I think like he's probably cheated on her before, and which which you know sometimes warrants a nice slap. <laughs> and sometimes. yeah, she you know she probably found out, slapped him, but he probably didn't hit back. But this time he was wasted, and there's a lot going on. I wish we could just know, like it's all public anyway. I wish they both could have said this is why. Like, I, I understand they're they're both like, oh, you know, it is it is what it is. It's over with, blah, 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 right? But the, the wife never said why she slapped him, right? In that article, did she say anything about why well, she hit him? Well, they're not going to. They just said for the respect of their family, they're not going to discuss it and they want privacy. So why would she, why would they say why she slapped him in the first place? <sighs> they're not going to. It doesn't never sound gonna. good. It doesn't sound good. I don't think it's going to last. I have a feeling this is probably going to be They've been married for 30 years. I hate to break it to you, Moss, but that is not going to break their marriage. You don't think so? No way. No way. Um, you know, I, I, at first They've I agree with you, way but... way worse than that. I don't know, man. I feel like... I feel like it, it finally hit a breaking point to do this in public. How many times in our relationship have you felt like you hit a breaking point? Right? So think we were about together someone, for 30 years. That's what I'm just saying. Think about someone who's been married for 30 years. Yeah, but I'm not. They probably had millions of breaking points. But I'm not going around traveling constantly being accused of cheating or whatever. I'm but not. We don't you know, know what I'm saying? if that's what's going on in their marriage. We're speculating. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a guessing game right now, but it's a completely different situation. I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like that might have been the peak. You yeah. know, they have kids together. You, like they're trying to to maintain the sanctity of their. <laughs> Not only their marriage, but their family. So I don't think it's going to be as easy as just, oh, well, this is the deal breaker. You know? Do you think it's a business deal? Do you think they're together because think, it's just cheaper? I think and... a lot of marriages that, that last this long when people are of as high a power as Dana White might have some clauses, <laughs> is a good way to put it, in, mm. in their marriage slash relationship slash partnership. Mm-hmm. I guess. So, yes, in a way, I think they have their own verbal agreements. Well, I have great news for you guys. Um, we have a Discord. Now, the Discord's completely free. You can check it out. There's links. All our links are down below. And before we get into this Discord, let's just give a shout out to some of our sponsors over here, real quickly. We got CBDX.com. CBDX.com. If you want to get yourself some weed, head over to CBDX.com and use promo code MMA Holes. It's MMA H O L E S for 20% off of your entire purchase. Switch emails. If you can't, if you get it the first time, you've done it already, you want to get it again, switch your email until we get this fixed. Uh, if you want to bet on all your favorite live sports, including M MMA, head over to mybookie.ag. Use promo code MMA holes. That's MMA H O L E S for a 100% match on your first deposit. Slip into sheath underwear. That's sheathunderwear.com. Uh, treat your jewels like royalty. Use promo code MMA holes. That's MMA H O L E S for 20% off of your entire purchase. And. When you're wearing sheath underneath, make sure you wear Headrush above. Headrush is provided the highest quality authentic apparel for lifestyle MMA and action sports enthusiasts. Use promo code MMA holes. That's MMA H O L E S for 20% off of your entire purchase. And if you want to watch all of your favorite live sports, including MMA, including the UFC, head over to ESPN Plus. The link in the description below. When you use our link, you're also helping out the MMA holes. Wonderful, wonderful. Moss, please get Goldie to watch the slap clip and both of you do play by play. That would bring the house down. <laughs> All kidding aside, this was probably just another night for these two. Agreed. No winners. Except the Mahal's memes department. Okay. I don't think he cheated. I do okay. think it was probably just another night. Like, they've been through something like this before. Now, sure. yeah, let me make this very clear. Very, very clear. We made a lot of jokes tonight. We're taking, we're guessing, we're speculating. In no way are we saying Dana, Dana cheated. We don't know what happened yeah, in the situation. Just theorizing. It's just having some fun. That's it. At a shitty situation. But everything's fine. No one's hurt. So here we are just making some jokes. We're not saying anything happened. We're not saying, okay, this happened, that happened. It doesn't seem good. It doesn't seem like it's going down the right path. But if they're happy, so be it. Now, uh, I'm going to get to the Discord because the Discord is hilarious. So uh, brace yourself, chat. Okay? Brace yourself for the Discord because it's about to go down, Jess. Are you ready for the Discord? I'm ready for the Discord. Oh, and sh should I reach out to Goldberg and ask him if he wants to do play-by-play -play to that? Stop. Mike Goldberg, here we go. Oh, it's all over. You know? No, okay. I don't know if that would be best. All right. One's in the chat if you want Mike Goldberg. His former employer. Former play-by-play -play announcer. 
of the UFC to break down. One's in the chat if you want Mike Goldberg to break down the power slap of Dana White and his wife. Virtually identical. Uh, Goldberg send it. Dropping the ones in the chat. Send Rhino, damn savage, optimistically cynical. Tony <laughs> says his wife was just appalled. Went out in public in another th uh, tight t-shirt and slapped him. Metal Monk says Dana usually gives her the two-piece and a biscuit behind closed doors. He knows where to hit her where it doesn't show marks. Uh, don't think he was his damn savage. No, not this one. I agree, says Duke Chronic. Wait, yeah. when did you guys get so soft? When Moss, it, it, Dana White is his f former employer. Oh, my God. It's not the same. I'm very... I, I, what, what is going on? There's no way. There's no way this chat could have gotten that soft. No, they're just logical. What happened to you? The what only happened? time I what would ever strike a you? woman is if I couldn't run away or restrain her and I was getting hurt. That's what I'm saying, Mix. Man. Like, I, that's where, like, my mentality is. And it's funny because I got lit on fire for that a long time ago. Now everyone's kind of on my side, which is wild. Because I said that if a woman slaps a man or, like, strikes a man in any way, if she's harming, if she, her intent is to physically harm a man, regardless of the reason, then he has every right to, to defend himself. I'm not saying he, he should double down on her or anything like that, but defend himself. And when I said that like a year or two ago, Moss, do you remember? The, the chat lit me up saying, oh, so you're saying that men should hit women and blah, blah, blah. And they weren't grasping what I was saying. Most actually agree with you. At the and time. now people are saying, oh, yeah, a man can defend himself. Oh, well, who cares? Is it like, what, I don't know. What, what's I just, the point? It's just, it, it's fascinating to me how the world <laughs> changes in two years. Now? I think you remember it differently because I remember a lot of people on your side. No, people, people thought that I was justifying men hitting women. Well, okay. Well, the... Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to put a poll for you or something? I don't know. Nah. Okay. All righty. Uh, let's get into the Discord here. And let's check out the pictures, the memes from the MMA holes. Now, let me say this. The people that are very sensitive and don't like uh, inappropriate jokes, you must leave at this point. If you like a good, insensitive, inappropriate joke, our community has been hard at work putting together all night long, putting together the best memes in the world. The slapping Dana White of his wife. Here it comes. You ready, Jess? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're ready for this jelly. Okay, so, so far right here, it looks like we got something. And this could be from the Power Slap League, Jess. This could it's be not internal misogyny, Great Yash. I have three older brothers. And if I saw a woman lay her hand on my brothers, I would expect them to defend themselves. I think this is a topic for another day, to be honest with you. I That's think it's what kinda... this whole thing is about. Yeah, I know. But are we going to have a debate about like... It's not a debate. We're having a normal conversation, Moss, about okay. a topic. All righty. Well, um, here we go. What do you think about this one? This is actually Dana White slapping his wife in competition at Power Slap. What do you think? Beautiful. I don't know. He slapped her so hard, her head spun around like Linda Blair. He's he's kidding. See, I, yeah, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's look at the next one over here. Oh, this is a very old, decrepit Mystic Moss sitting by a campfire. What does it say? And just like that, Uncle Dana caused the whole world to remember what a woman is. Okay. What? What does that one mean, though? It's you telling a campfire story about when Dana White slapped his wife. What a woman is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, all right. It's okay. We got more. We got more. Now, this one, this one deserved the retweet and the whole thing. Here is Ariel Helwani enjoying himself during Dana White slapping his wife. I mean, the picture says it all. Come on. Jesse, what do you think? What do you think about this? As he's power slapping his meat? I think it's wonderful. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. I say it's double wonderful. Thank you very much for that one. I don't think we're going to be able to top that. But here it comes, Data White. This was going to be the now thumbnail. this one is good. This was actually going to be the thumbnail. No yep. joke. But I am glad I didn't do it. So we give the shine to the community. And there he is. Keep your wife's name out. Your fucking mouth, or keep my wife's face on my fucking hand. The MMA holes are undefeated, and there is Dana White power slapping his wife. Jess, what do you think about this? What do you rate it? My favorite. 
Do you like this better than the Ariel one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I like the Ariel one better. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm going to do here. Let me just go back really quick. Okay. Out of 10, rate it. Out of 10, Six. rate it. Six. Okay, I'm going to give this one... Six three. I'm not doing the points. It's okay. Stupid. Six three. All right. So Jesse gives it a six. I give it six three. Let's see what the best meme of the evening is. If you have any more memes, drop him on our Discord. We got five. Here we go. The, the scores are coming in. There's only three scores. Five, three, and three. Okay. They're coming. Same guy. Okay. Five. Okay. Three. I think we're losing you. No, you no. just got to wait for them to come in. You can't ask me to read them if they're not even there. Okay, so we got threes. We got fives. We got three. We got 5.5. There's a delay. That's why. Four, 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 three, four. Wow, okay. Okay. I don't blame you. I was high with my six, three. Okay. All right, so they're, they're, they're kind of they're kind of under under five on this. Okay, this one over here went a little over my head, but you do have geriatric moss over there. What do you give this one? Two. Two? Yeah, I'm about a one on that one. I, I didn't even get it, but uh, I'm going to go one on this one. But we, we bring it back on the next one. Can you read it again for the peoples? And just like that, Uncle Dana caused the whole world to remember what a woman is. Okay. One, three point five, seven, two, three, two, one. Okay. Zero. Yeah, okay. All right, we got, we got the gist on that one. Now we go to the Ariel one. I give this a 10 out of 10. I mean, you know, you know Ariel is just delighted catching Dana White at his lowest moment over there. He clearly does not like Dana White. It's easy 10 out of 10 for me. Jesse, what do you give it? Seven. Seven? Oh, my God. We got nines. We got tens. We got 15s in the chat. And with a one. Oh, my God. Very high scores coming in, though. 9.5, 10, 9, gross but true, 9, 6. Hoot. My God. Tough. Tough crowd. Uh, and giving it a 10. Uh, Great Yash giving it a 7, 9. Okay, we're going to keep it coming here. Thank you guys for jumping in. Let's go, champ. All right, champion. What do we got here? Optimistically Cynical became a member. Actually been a member for 19 months. Oh, Interesting. super chat. Chuck Sakura. Wife said, yo, T didn't hear no bell. He didn't hear no bell? Is that what you're saying? That's what the wife said? Okay, thank you very much for the $2 donation. Appreciate it. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we go to the next meme. So, so far, this is very high score, but then we triple down ten. with the... You're giving this a 10. I'll give this a 7.7. .7. You know what's weird? Yeah. In, in Dana White's wife's statement, she said it was completely out of character for him. Okay, but, but it's in character for herself to slap him. Yeah, she didn't say this is out of character for us. Anytime I slap the man, she just he said, never hits back. This is out of character for him, hmm. which means she probably has slapped him before and he just never reacted and she didn't expect a reaction. Yeah, you know, good point. She, well, like I said before, she never addressed herself slapping him. Right. So, so the fact that it's out of character. Yeah, probably she never, done it before. Yeah, how did they not and follow up and say... he's probably just never reacted to it. He just took it. And then now, he was drunk, under the influence, a lot of stuff going on around them. And then he just reacted out of impulse. Yeah. Well, like I said before, she didn't say anything about herself. Jesse doubling down, saying she didn't acknowledge the fact that she slapped him. So what do you think? I mean, it is weird. Right? It is very weird. Very, very weird, and um, I don't know. Dana should just dump her, right? Let's be honest. Just dump her. Kick her to the cor cor curb, man. She hit him first. He's a victim in this situation. He was defending himself. I just think himself. it's a little weird that she didn't, like, in any way acknowledge what she did. All right, so we got the uh, votes in on this. They seem fairly high on this one as well. What do you think about that? Uh, let's see what we got here. It's this one. Okay, Jess, if you could give it to them. Uh, what girls think guys want to slap, what guys actually want to slap. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Dude. What the? Ah, uh, super. 
Bird Show. Okay, get your votes in. Well, get your scores in, I should Dana say. Dana avoids media coverage due to NFL near death. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, uh, wait. Uh, Dana avoids media coverage due to NFL near death. What is this near death? Uh, well, I don't know. I, did something happen in the NFL? Did I miss something? I heard, I heard something with Buffalo Bills. We can figure it out, but we, we have the same topic. Yeah, I didn't even know what happened. D-Man Diaz, thank you for being a member for 19 months. Get your votes in or your scores in on that last meme. Thank you for the donations, guys. <laughs> Guy almost oh, died. Super chat. I gotta check it out. The beautiful Laura Sanko probably behind this too. Probably, I would imagine. Maybe you think <laughs> you think Dana White slept with a Laura Sanko, and that's what they were yelling about. What do you think? How old are you gonna be when we're married for thirty years? How old am I gonna be? I'm gonna be like eighty. You've been married for two years. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like eighty years old. In twenty eight years, you're gonna be seventy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able. To sla- I'm not gonna be able to get my hand oh my up to slap you. In twenty eight years, you're gonna be. Yeah, it's true. Seventy three years old. I'll be seventy three at the club. And I'm gonna try to raise my hand to slap you, and my my shoulder's gonna just pop out of my uh, socket. In twenty eight years, you're gonna be seventy three. Yeah. yeah. And I'm only gonna be in my forties. It's true. No, I'm going to be in my 50s. No, yeah, 50s. What are you talking about? You mean 50s. You're going to be 73 in 28 years. You just figured this out now. <laughs> I think the light bulb's going off in my head. I got to get out. I got to get out. She just figured this out now. Oh, the simps are freaking out right now. They're like, yes! Oh, my God. Well, yeah, kidding. yeah, yeah, because you're going to be you're going to be her age. Oh, boy. So you're gonna be a psychotic menopause, I'm and I'm just gonna be my 73 year old husband. And I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna be a vegetable in a, like a wheelchair. Like, oh, you're gonna be hitting me. I'm like, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Take this, change my diaper. <laughs> yeah, because how old is she? Uh, I don't know. She looks very young, though. I think no, she doesn't. I, 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 well, not no, now. Don't. I'm saying like I think they got married young. What's her name? Uh, Mar- uh, uh, Anne. Anne. Anne White. White. You put Dan White. Dan and same thing. She looks like a guy. Uh, Ann White, age. Let's see. She's got to be in her 50s. I would imagine. And how old is Dana White? Do you think we'll make wife? it 30 years? Oh, my God. The rate we're going, no. I would say no. Uh, wow. Let's see. <laughs> That's not a slap You in shot the face. me a zinger. I can't. How does this work with women? I could I could get zingers to me, but God forbid I take the fucking tennis rack and hit the ball back. They're just like, no. What was the zinger to you? You were joking about my age. Well, you will be 73. Us. And you will be. Uh, how old is Dana White? How old is Dana White's wife? There's nothing on her age. Dana White's wife. This is 1996. What is that? What does that even mean? She was born in 96? No. Is that right? No, they got married in 96. How old is his wife? How old is his wife? Wait, here we go. Dana White, Ann White, was born in uh, the 16th, 1969, age 50 years old. But no, that's as of 2019. So, Ed, what, uh, uh, four years? Or three. Three years. Yeah, 53. So, yeah, you'll be the same age. You'll be a crazy menopause, and I'll just be like an old decrepit, you know. But I'll still be ready to go to the clubs. I'll be in Mexico, you know, doing my thing. Anyway, let's get back on topic here. Let's get back to the memes. Uh, here's another one over here. As seen on TV, Slap Chop, Dana White. What do you think? Two. What? I mean, nothing? Two? Damn. Okay. Two? I'm going to give this at least a four. <laughs> at least. All right, chat, what do we got with this one? This one probably done by an old guy, right? Let me think. Hold on a second. Kind of. Okay, yeah. I figured. I figured someone up in age because only us old people would probably get this. But um, there we go. Slap Chop. I give it a four. Uh, Savage gave it a six. What do we got the scores? Give me the scores, Jess. One, four, five, six, one, four, nine, uh, four, three, four. Uh, just imagine Moss growing into Mick Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be walking around all feminine and just like real skinny oh, and Lord. veiny. I'll have like a massive tan. It'll be a leather bag. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Mick Jagger. Imagine looking like Mick Jagger. Oh my God. 
He never looked good, though. You ever notice that? Like, Mick Jagger always looked old. You know, fun fact, I don't even know what Mick Jagger looks like. You don't know what Mick Jagger looks like? He looks like a skeleton. Uh, just Google him. Even a young Mick Jagger was old. Like, he came out like Benjamin Button. It's bizarre. Mick Jagger never... He's like... Uh, what's his name? Um, Morgan Freeman. Right? Morgan Freeman. I'll be 46 March. We have an address down below. Uh, send me presents, please. Pre preferably adult diapers. All right. So the, low, the score is a low for this one. Not surprised. But Kainoto bounces back over here. And what does it say? <laughs> This is good. I like this one. Hi, I'm Dana White, and welcome to Jackass. Oh, oh my gosh. there it is. And that That's big a good hand. One. I give that an eight. Okay, let's go. We're bringing, he, he bounced back nicely. Seven, seven, I give it. Nice one over there. Like it. Seven, seven, I'm giving it. Uh, let's see the scores. Let the scores come in. Let's see what we got here. 8.56757. Jagger has like 18 kids. Jesus did die for our sins, and I thank him every night. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got more. Wow, you guys are really coming in here. Here's another one. I think this is from the Meme Master Kainoto. On point, loving it. Hard work, the hardest work in Meme Maker in the Discord. And if you could explain, explain the, uh, the meme over here. What's wrong, honey? <laughs> I effing hate their new format. Kapow. <laughs> it's better. What? It, it's better how Jesse read it. I think you made the meme funnier than it is. It's not funny. Can you re <laughs> read it again? The exact same excitement. What's wrong, honey? I fucking hate their new format. Kapow. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, baby. 10 out of 10. Jesse helped it. 10 out of 10. I mean, you got to give it. I couldn't read it any better than that. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> Let's go to the next one. And wow, he's really he's really coming in. Uh, here we go. This one. Wow, a lot of what is going on here? Oh, Kainoto's not even making relevant uh, memes anymore. He's just taking oh, okay. shots at us. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck this is. What is he saying? Because we have multiple yeah. streams? Yeah. He's old. We'll give him a pass, man. He's, he's a little older. Um, let's see what we got here. Four <laughs> streams, you goofs. I like this one here. I like this one. So Dana White coming in, and he's slapping us because he's so ups upset that we did four streams in one night. And I got to say this. We gave you motherfuckers four streams tonight. Who's doing that? Four streams in one night, back to back, belly to belly, topic to topic. You get everything on this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what we got over here. Joe, Joe, Joe. I know, but listen, did you see how quick she was with the right? Look, all I'm saying is you had good control of her left arm, and before she could get position on you, you could have put her in a deep Kimura. That one coming in from Damn Savage, like a freaking novel, but I do give him credit for putting it in there. I lost track after the first bubble. Um, but the, rate it, rate it, rate it. You guys did us old fucks dirty. <laughs> I can barely drink my Garretol. Meme and keep up with the streams. Relax, Jesse. I'm giving you a hard time. Not taking shots. Slap <clears> yourself. <throat> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kainoda, for two. Thank you, everyone, for jumping in and throwing the donations there. Thank you for everyone hitting the like buttons. We're not done yet. Almost done. We have some fantastic memes. He said he didn't make this one. Okay, so I'll give him credit on that. I don't even know why I put it there, but what do you think about this one here, Jess? Three? Two. Two, okay. One. Let's see what we got over here. 
Uh, <laughs> what is this? I can't even see it. Is that Jesus? I don't know. Slapping Jesus? Is that a pumpkin? Uh, I don't know. It looks like Jesus is like cowering over as he's beating Jesus. <laughs> what is that? I don't even. I don't even know what the hell that is. In fact. Um, that's optimistically cynical. Don't even know what the hell that is. But last but not least, and shout out to everyone that dropped a meme on our... Is that Andrew Tate? Is that who that was? Hold on a second. Was that really Andrew Tate? No. I don't even know who that was. Yeah, I don't know. But here's the final one over here, Jess. What you- <laughs> I like the John Jones referee <laughs> debut. Oh my god. I didn't even think of that. I am so disappointed in myself that I did not make more John Jones jokes in this situation. Jess, can you just read this this a poster? Uh, power slap. Road to the title. Power slap a bitch. <laughs> John T- Jones referee <laughs> debut on TBS. <laughs> That's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. What do you think John Jones is doing right now? What do you think he's doing? Well, Dana, I don't oh think Dana God. ever said anything about John Jones, did he, when that stuff happened? So it's not like John Jones can really say anything about Dana. Oh, my God. He could be like, see, my boss does it too. Oh, my God. The jokes that could have come out of this. Now, listen, no one was hurt. It shouldn't have happened. Dana apologized. Both parties were fine. Everything's okay. It's okay to make jokes about this. No one got hurt. It's not right to hit a woman. Not right to hit a man. Don't hit anybody. Stop it. Cut it out. You don't, you just can't lay your hands on people like that in front of cameras. You do it off camera. Um, okay. That is the final meme over there. A round of applause to the people. <laughs> what, what a segment over here. Now, listen. There may be topics that you don't like. But the beauty is on Mondays, we were ha- we'll have multiple streams. So if there is a topic you don't like, you could just bump up to another stream over there and enjoy that topic. It's for everyone what we're doing. I want you guys to give it a shot over here. I promise you this will be something that's going to work. Uh, it's going to be fun. And if it doesn't work, we go back to the old ways. Everything's going to be fine. Our Fuko Friday stays intact. We're still doing our interviews on Wednesday nights. Uh, on Saturday, we're going to be reacting long streams to fights. You're going to get everything you need on this channel. So I urge you to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Very important to hit that notification bell um, because that's how you get all the alerts to the streams, all that stuff. And if you can hit that like button, I greatly appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go here, but I had a fantastical night with everyone. It's been a delightful pleasure to be streaming with you, but we must say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't be an a-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole.